A blessed morning, one and all. This is your apostle, Elijah Peter Chambers. Once more, with a pounding word. Hallelujah. A harsh one, and also an intriguing one. Glory be to God. And our topic is, my story put behind bars for speaking thus say the Lord. And this is our 57th series and our theme, born, hallelujah, to win. Glory be to God. I have been winning on a constant basis. And we give God the glory, the honor, and the praise. And our scripture, Proverbs 11, 5, declares the righteousness of the perfect shall direct his ways. The righteousness of of the perfect shall direct his ways, but the wicked shall fall by his own wickedness. Psalm 37, 23 declares, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delight in his ways. Glory be to God. Psalm 48, 14 declares, for this God is our God forever and ever. He will be our guide even unto death. On a daily basis, individuals are contacting me and making apologies about the video that went viral where the allegation was made that I threatened the Prime Minister. One man pounced upon me in Mandeville, Manchester while I was in the region on business for the Lord and said, Pastor Peter Chambers, I am sorry for all the negatives I have said about you. Can you forgive me? I reply, I have forgiven you, sir. And all, glory be to God. He literally went on bending knees in making his apology. I found out what the Lord revealed to you about our leader is coming to light. Sir, you were right. This is the reason he was trying to rule you out. God did spoke to you. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We were all blind because of our political persuasion. He said to me, Pastor Peter Chambers, Jamaica is going down into a sinkhole. Another who contacted me and made her, and made her apologies for what she said about me. Read to the viral video. The Lord gave you pertaining to the PM. Sir, please accept my apologies. Your prophecies are coming to pass and also coming to light. So our present leaders of Jamaica are dishonest and they are thieves and are very corrupt. Glory be to God. Yes, morning. I vote for them and I, I must confess I regret I voted for them because they have put Jamaica to open disgrace. Sir, don't you see how Jamaica is going down, going backward? Sir, I am sorry for all that I have said wrongfully against you. God is with you. Continue to do the work of the Lord. We are seeing that Jamaica is becoming more troubled with death, crime, violence, scammers, gunmen, corruption, evil. All that the Lord has revealed to, to you is coming to pass. Right now, the present government is out of option and everyone is confused and don't know what to do. Remember, a few weeks ago, Kevin Simitswaga caused many to come out bashing the church, chanting, saying, we don't need the church and we are not going back to church because it is cult they are dealing with. Watch what will happen to them when evil has taken root of their homes, their dwellings, their businesses, their political houses, our roads and cannot be controlled. Then you will hear a bitter cry. Where is the church? The builder reject. Hallelujah. Always become the chief cornerstone corruption with this government have become a lifestyle 
and is accepted by political followers and so-called political Christians. If Christians see no problem with the corruption and dishonesty, what can the righteous do? 75% of the churches in Jamaica contribute to the destruction. This is the norm. When you speak against evil and corruption, everyone wants you dead. Both Christians and political supporters. This government have made history in stealing taxpayers' money in billions of dollars. And many in Jamaica don't see anything wrong with it. We are a sick generation. Politicians rob millions of dollars and are still paid millions of dollars for stealing. Hallelujah. Every representative that falls into corruption, they are shielded and covered to continue to do their wrongs. Then you hear, yes, they are doing a good job and, and, and it's applauded. So many departments in stealing and corruption and it continues. Now I understand why they did everything in their power to fabricate Peter Chambers. Told lies about the money that was accounted for. Why billions of dollars cannot be accounted for. Hallelujah. Don't throw stone into a glass house. You, you all forgot that your house is more fragile. More than any. I've got a vision. Hallelujah. That things became worse for your bro God. And he resigned and no one wanted to take the seat, wanted to sit in the leadership seat. In the vision, individuals were saying, I don't want judgment to come down on me. So let's leave the seat alone. Trouble, trouble is ahead. Not even prayers can help them. They have violated, violated God's laws. They will suffer. Hallelujah. Dearly. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. And when you looked at everything that is happening in Jamaica, the struggles, the death, the murder that is on the, on the arising, the crime, the violence, even accidents. I don't know, I don't know if you notice, and, and, um, accidents are increasing since Kevin Simmons' death. The demon of blood, the blood sucker, the vampire, is out. I, I think it was last Friday. I was. I went to Portland to do ministry at Apostles Enoch's Church, and and coming back from doing ministry, driving back from Portland, coming in, we pounced upon an accident. Hallelujah! In the Galena era, where cars collided and you saw dead bodies on the floor. When we came back into Ochi. Praise God. I think it's the real at the, the, the stoplight. There was another accident. So there we are recognizing that the forces of darkness has escalated over Jamaica. And listen, this government is going to get worse. Because what? You ruled out the church. You don't want to hear anything from the prophets. You came openly on national TV and said we're false and we are false prophets. Hallelujah. Which means you don't want to hear from the voice of God. Then you are, going to, you are going to experience the wrath of the devil. It will become worse. Hallelujah. And I want to declare to the people on this medium, in this medium, through this medium. Hallelujah. That YouTube wrote me a letter. I want to speak to the false Christian blogger. Because this, you should not be doing blogging. Blogging is for the world. It's money you're looking, glory be to God. You shouldn't be blogging. YouTube, YouTube wrote me a letter and explained everything to me. That the community policies came up against me through a specific organization. A specific set of people who wanted to get rid of me off social media because they don't want to hear the truth because they recognize everything that i prophesy has come to pass now youtube is saying to me mr chambers the policy 
of the community policy the community policy has been ab abolished so dog eat to no supper and i'm going tired to see me face glory be to god you all did everything in your power to rid me from preaching the undiluted gospel because you don't want to hear the truth hallelujah and i am speaking to the blogger the christian the so-called christian blogger let me ask you a question you blogging against the will of god and saying that you're righteous and you're holy hallelujah and you're defending corruption dishonesty evil witchcraft obia all that this government hallelujah has embraced but we recognize that you are politically hallelujah persuaded and this is the reason you're blogging against the man of god but you know what the holy spirit said i'm to tell you he's gonna blog against you set your house in order set your house in order judgment coming to you Mr. Religious Blogger, you're going to know if me falls. Hallelujah. Thus, say the Lord.